Hey folks, welcome back to the Portable Gamer. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 and welcome back to Lone Oak Farm. So we've got multiple experiments going on today. First thing we've got, it's harvest day, by the way. Our canola is ripe. So we're gonna harvest, make some money. So first thing we've got is our two axle farm truck with a great big tipper. This is on course play and it's supposed to. It's supposed to make its runs to the grain cell point semi-automatically might need a little bit of help this is what we're going to dump grain into when this thing is on a run i'm tempted to put this on the same course but then we got two of them out there i don't know i'm a little you know what i'm saying exactly this is our auger wagon right and that is going to be servicing this Case 8240 combine harvester and a 13 and a half meter header. So, none of this is going to go to plan. I will just tell you that in in advance. I uh, think if we can sneak through right there. I'm gonna try to sneak past our. We're gonna try to sneak past everything. Man, this is some big equipment. It doesn't look terribly big right now when we're sort of up above it drone cam style but man this stuff in real life up close this equipment is massive right so i think i leave that right about there i'm gonna take out the real estate sign perfect and I am going to do probably one, one row manually. All right. So now, hold up the landing gear on the header. Unfold here. Beautiful. I'm just going to go across the top here and give us just the tiniest little bit of room to work. And what I'm going to do is put this on course play. And there's a reason why. These tram lines that we put in that I'm so happy about. Vehicle AI will sometimes see them as the edge of a field or the end of a field and it will make a turn. Right? Like it'll turn down the tram line as though it was the edge of the field. We can't have that. Oh. That's good. That's good, and that's good. And I wanted to do this because I need to make a little room down there for all of our equipment. And even these little... Like, there's some little berms and banks on the edge of the road there. On the edge of the farm track. And getting all these augers to reach up over into the the various tippers that they need to reach into and the the uh, loading wagon i'm sorry the auger wagon um, they don't always want to do that if the vehicles are at anything other than the perfect height so i'd like to be able to get everything into sort of a flat field if that makes sense Get off the little berms. Right. Now, we're also throwing canola chaff, which I believe with the hard manure mod, I believe that is going to count as e at least one, possibly two layers of fertilizer. Wow, this thing is filling up fast. Already 25% from one. One short headland, we're at 25%. That's fantastic. So, now that we have room to work, I'm going to immediately put this on a worker on course play and hop in our auger wagon and start servicing this thing. Now, there is a way. I've seen it done. There is a way to automate virtually all of this. So you can have one tipper on course play to make runs to the grain cell point. You can have 
obviously you can have the combine harvester on course play but it's sort of communicating with the auger wagon and then the third thing is you can have the auger wagon set to um, no set to overload and if you can get all of that working you can just about do a multiplayer map with a single player but it all sort of comes down to course play and how cooperative it's being at any given moment you know course play it's good when it's good but it ain't always good uh combine combine self unloading no i don't think we're doing that So here, and this is field 48, it is field 48, auto width, starting location, this is the southeast corner. Southeast, starting direction is going to be west. West. Turn to first point, deactivate headland. Yes. Two, please. We're going to do this first. No islands. Let's see what we come up with. Oh, this is going to take a minute. All right. So, turn this on so we can see our whole course here. Right over here. Now we can turn these off. Course at next closest waypoint. Drive course. There we go. We do not have a combine convoy. Okay. Fantastic. Now. We need to... I'm going to quickly run over here. Got a minute before it's full, but it's going to take us a minute. Ah, it's going to take us a minute. Come on here. Oh. Turn it off. Back this thing up. I want to make sure that we can unload. While it's rolling. a lot of canola in here. I'm hoping there's a couple hundred thousand dollars of canola in there. Get us 100% out of debt. We rented a lot of equipment. Not the end of the world, but we still rented a lot of equipment. Right. That reaches. Perfect. Plenty of room on that one. Thing is filling up fast. The combine, I mean, not the the auto weapon. Okay, this right over here. Come on, run down here, and I'm going to pull the other 1455 onto the field. So it's accessible because where it is now, I couldn't really. It's so close to the two axle farm truck that I couldn't really get the auger wagon in there. Oh, and you also saw I set the stop point for our two axle at the top of this little grade, right? I set it here rather than even right over here because when that's got what 60, 70,000 liters of canola in it, it's not. I want to start on a hill. Get this guy out of the way.
And uh, where do we want to put him? Because Combine is going to come around. Even though we've already taken care of this, it's going to see it as part of the course play course. So it's going to come across right just to the left of where this tractor is now. Right. So, I'm going to run over here. I'm going to take this through one successful trip to the grain cell. Call it. I think that ought to be about half an hour. But I'll be working on this field. I have the time compression turned down to one. And I'm going to be working on this field for a minute, definitely. But, it's a good thing. It's a Sunday. Got a little footy later. It was a little footy yesterday. I don't want to talk about that. But there's some footy today. And uh, there's going to be baseball tonight. It's just going to be a perfect Sunday. I'm also curious how, how this thing's going to roll when it's full. Because this will be like 25, 25 tons. 25,000 liters. Canola is fairly dense, too, as far as its mass. Right. And I I think this thing might be able to make it all the way around without filling up, but I'm not 100%. Not 100% on that. We're not taking any chances. Once we have a nice big headland to work with, we'll be a lot, a lot more comfortable. Um, this is going to be a little tight. We can do it. Might not empty it, but we'll get some. We'll get some volume out of there. Okay. I didn't know if they were going to do a three-point turn, field turn, or if they were just going to swing it around the end there. There's an option for that now in course play. You decide how you want to handle your corners and turns. Okay, so that thing is now empty. I'm just going to follow along behind it. Ooh, almost clipped the front loader with the auger. I'm just going to follow along behind it till we get out of the trees here. Yeah, we're going to make so much money from this. Get us out of debt. And I was considering... So we, we rented this combine harvester. I was considering buying a twin to it and putting that on the barley after we make some money and then turning this one at the end of the day. But I think we're going to go quick enough with that 45-foot header. I think we're going to go quick enough that we can just use this one for both and then probably either buy or lease one again for the sunflowers. Definitely need to buy the Ropa for the sugar beets because it, there's so many of them, right? There's such a volume of sugar beet. It's going to take forever to, to do those. I, I don't think renting makes sense because we're going to have that thing for multiple days, even though it is half a million dollars. Fifteen percent. You know, it it might be able to make it all the way around. Come on. Come on. It might be able to make it all the way around. Come on. There we go. It might be able to make it all the way around on one uh, on one tank. I 
don't think I want this thing full back in this little in this little area back here. Coming up out of that little hollow. You know, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Because it was 30%. No, I don't think it can make it all the way around. We'll just keep doing what we're doing. I think... I think this auger wagon may be... Uh, I thought it was 25 tons, but just looking down in the corner there, it's already at... 13,000 liters and it's about a quarter full so it's looking more like 60,000 which I'll take you know but that means we can empty this tank just over and over and over again good on us I think I want to get this one more time as it's going down the here before it gets to the end and then it's going to go across it'll essentially deadhead across there's no crop on the end and while it's doing that i can dump this thing for the first time perfect our evil plan is working now there's a command and drive control to pace a vehicle, but I feel like I can never get to it in time. If I macroed it to a, a key combo on my gamepad, I think that'd be the smart way to do it, but as it stands now, it's like shift F3 or something, and then when you activate cruise control, it'll pace the closest vehicle to you. get out of this guy's way, give him room to work, and we're going to go dump this. Hopefully we're going to dump this. I think I checked everything as far as height of augers and making sure everything can reach. You know what? If not, we'll just go to plan B. We're big fans of Plan B here on the farm. Getting anything? So, looking like six. Oh, that's a nice little dust cloud. So we're looking like sixty thousand liters is what the farm truck is going to hold. Perfect. And oh, that's funny. As the uh, As the combine harvester came past our secondary dipper truck, it threw its auger out. There's looks like 484 liters of canola in there now, zero percent. Okay, so that's the end of first headland. Pull up here, put the brake on. Have a sip of tea and hit the vape as I would in real life. Right. Back to it. So we are in, we're recording in OBS once again, and there's a reason for that. I 
I was continuing to get lag spikes in Shadowplay, and what I finally figured out, and what the internet told me, is because of that, it's not so much Shadowplay as it is Alt-Tab to get to Shadowplay. But, here's the thing. You kind of have to Alt-Tab to get to Shadowplay. There's no other way you can turn it on in-game, but it's not really... You, you've still sort of tabbed out of giving ownership of your graphics card to whatever game it is you're running, if that makes sense. So I think it's the way Windows 10 allocates resources. That's what I've heard. I don't know. It's the, the uh, spring update for Windows 10 that broke... Uh, how shadow play works. What I'm told. And I know not everybody has a problem with it, but some people do, and that seems to be where the problem is coming from. So, we'll see. We'll see how it all works out. But the nice thing is, uh, OBS is updated since the last time I worked with it, and it's got a compressor and a limiter and a noise gate and a bunch of other things now. So, I'm more pleased with the audio, but not a fan of the 60 gig files that it generates. Those are a little, little clunky to work with, but you know, it's always something. It's always something that needs improving. Always something needs working on. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to empty this thing, empty this combine, just as we get across the. We're going to make our turn here, and just as we get across the short length of the field, I'm going to fill this, and then I'm going to turn around and drive back around the other way on the level part of the field and meet the combine as it comes up out of that hollow. The reason I'm going to do that is I don't want to end up back there with a load of, load of canola. I don't feel good about getting... I don't feel good about getting out of there. I'm all the way loaded. He's empty. Oh, Gearbox. Why are you so good to me? Right. Go ahead and cheat that. No, there's still some good volume there. I, I'm, I'm still betting on the $200,000 we can get out of this field. Let me get into the farm lane instead of driving on the pump there. Yep, I'm still saying 200 grand we can get out of this field. I'm hoping. Hoping. Now, next episode, we're going to do this barley field over here, and we are going to be bailing up a storm, and i got to figure out if we can macro that somehow with course play. the rate if we could. Leave this right here. Go 
the little little hills are alive here. Yeah, man, this is my, I wouldn't say this is my favorite part of farming. I really do like harvest. I mean, obviously everybody likes harvests when you make your money. I'm trying to coordinate all this stuff and it's going to rain tomorrow and then it forecast says we'll be, we'll have good weather for the rest of fall. But it's fun to, uh, with seasons, to try to get everything done by a certain time and work around rain and that sort of thing. Hop in here. And I'm not driving. Obviously, we're on course play, but I figured we'd take a look from the interior. I like this combine. I, as far as I know, it's just base game with some, with some upgrades. I don't think it's a standalone, but you did a good job with it. And of course, it's black, so I'll take it. Thirty-three hundred liters. I was thinking about bringing one of the other tractors up and getting started on turning this field, but it wouldn't necessarily be realistic. I don't know. I mean, there's some things you can do to prep a field in the fall. From what I know of a real farming, there's some things you can do to prep a field, but you don't want to do a whole lot because it's going to, that field's going to be exposed to the elements all during the winter and it's going to get rained on and it's going to settle and get mud on it and rocks are going to come up to the surface and all kinds of other things so it's not necessarily something you'd want to put a ton of time into knowing you'll need to do it again in the spring or this is going to work out perfect i think i think Let's hop back in here. In hindsight, I did not need an auger wagon this big. Although, see how we do on this barley field, because barley's a lot less dense than canola. Combine fills up a lot faster. The tank on the combine fills up faster with barley. So, we'll see. No regrets. I think it was 7,000 pounds we paid to rent it for the day. $7,000. We should be just fine. This thing will deadhead across one more time. We've also got grass work to do again, but we'll do that a couple episodes from now because we just did grass work, but we've got a couple new ideas about what to do with those fields as far as silage bales. And I don't think we're going to do hay bales again. We didn't get a lot of money for them and we we spent a lot of time on them, we did not make a lot of money, and that's never, never a good combo, not one of my favorite things. 
So in the future, we will do uh, we'll do pellets and we'll do. Let me empty this one more time. We'll do pellets and we'll do silage bales for now. I think at some point when we have animals, we'll need hay bales, but at the moment, we do not need them. Once the combine gets onto this next length, we said, yeah, we said two headlands. So it's on lengths now. Won't be any more deadheading. Theoretically. Moment. <laughs> this seems wrong. Nope. Where are you going? Let's, uh... Huh. Okay. Where are we going? Okay, looks like they're just going down here to make a turn and then come back up. All right. Well, at least it's doing it fast. Easy. Okay. Uh, uh, it's a little bit hokey, I can't say. I'm, I'm a huge fan of that, but whatever. It's doing its thing. Right, so we're at, we're at zero starting this length. So I'm curious, I want to see what volume we're at the other end of this so we can kind of calculate when and how we need to empty our combine. I think we're going to be fine. I'm also, mm, I don't know, I might, I might have to reevaluate. I don't know if we're going to be at 200,000. I'm thinking more like 100, 125,000 now. I thought we would have filled that dipper before we made it around one time. Okay, all good. Make our money. We just need to get out of debt. That's the main thing. We're looking at... Twenty-five hundred liters, maybe? Per... per length? Hmm... Okay. How many lengths we got? Maybe six or eight? So, mm, okay. Yeah, it, it's... Not what I thought, but it's still going to be plenty. And we got a ways to go. Maybe closer to 3,000 liters per length. Okay, perfect. Place full of canola chaff there. Story of my life. Now the nice thing is on this map the fields aren't terribly expensive, so depending on how we finish harvest, we may be looking to buy some other fields. It is, I wouldn't say frustrating, but it does, I've always wondered why the thing that will make you the most money on one of these maps is very often grass. That seems like that needs to be adjusted in the economic modeling. Like that's not... Doesn't seem right. What do I know?
Well, it'd be a shame if I spent all that time building that horseplay course for the for the two axle truck, and we never even use it. That would be that's what you call ironical. Yeah, man. Okay. And of course, the reason I'm emptying this now is I always want this thing to be empty or nearly empty or as empty as possible when it's making its making its length with the pipe over the crop. I know when I first got into FS 2015, man, I didn't know from crop. I was driving all over, and there was no crop destruction at the time, so you could do that. I mean, you still can. You can turn off crop destruction, but what did I know? Yeah, could have gone with a much smaller auger wagon. We will next fall. Not necessarily the smallest one, but just not one as big as this. Yeah, see, when I was when I was sort of laying this out in my head, I thought that cart would just be going nonstop. I was going to set up two, so we'd have like a little, you know what I mean, like a little, uh, you know, a thing that I can't think of the name of. But yeah, that. down and dump it. You know, as slow as this is filling up, we could probably just take that thing over there manually. Live and learn. We'll know for next time. And it didn't cost us anything. Although, I guess, I mean, we had a tipper, and then we rented the second one. We didn't really need that. Ah, so it goes. Just a game. But he cares. Yeah, I'm not a fan of, uh, Careful not to. Careful not to tail whip my uh, my auger wagon and just rake the side of that rented tipper. All right. Break on. Get the T. And a tug on the vapor. I think what I might do no, we'll we'll stay the course. I was thinking we could end that thing early, but it it's only got five or ten minutes we'll have that thing loaded up. But really, yeah, not as much not as much canola as I thought we were gonna get. I really thought we would pull at least one or two tanks, whole combine tanks, just out of the headland. Okay. Okay. We'll know for next time. But now I'm curious about that barley. I know we're going to get bales out of it. We're going to have bales for days, but I don't think we're going to make a lot of money from that barley field. Unless we get a lot for the bales. And teed up.
No, no regrets on the on the Argo wagon, just because it's such a fun mod. Yeah. But I am glad we we rented the combine harvester instead of buying one. What? I think... Uh, nah, the OCD is kicking in. We'll just let it roll. As big as this map is, I just went with big equipment. Thought, thought it made the most sense. This got me thinking about sunflowers, though. Hmm. Okay. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I know you get a ton for them. They're super heavy and they they don't have a lot of uh, volume. But I still don't like the idea of taking a tipper on that field with those crazy hills. Maybe we just rent a smaller auger wagon when we do sunflowers. You know what's going to be hilarious is if we do is if we just sort of make money with canola barley and sunflower and so we're letting it all kind of ride on sugar beets and when we finally harvest our sugar beets all we do is pour like days and days and days of time into it and not make any money and then uh and then it's all going to come down to silage as always i do yeah i really do feel like that's something they need to sort out in fs19 the, the economy that you make money with crops not by mowing grass because at that point i mean wouldn't everybody just plant all their fields as grass either grass or silage corn end of the row very slowly filling up the, the cart, not the auger wagon. Just dumped. this dump and I think it's just going to have to be one more one more pair of lengths because this is a little slower than I thought it would an alternative. We've got enough I think it's two. Seventy percent? Yeah, we've got enough time. I mean it's not like our auger wagon is gonna end up completely full. Let's do this. Put this away. Up in here and let it make one trip. So go, buddy. Yep. 
doing over here? Okay. I'm going to tab. I know we said we weren't going to tab a whole lot, but on a map this big, well, tabbing never killed anybody. I also want to watch this thing. I think it's only going to make one or two trips. I, Like I said, I thought it was going to be just making trip after trip after trip to the grain cell, but looks like it's only going to be one or two. So, I did run it through one time, and it behaved okay, but of course play, so you know, can't be too careful. So I'm just going to sort of monitor and make sure everything goes according to plan. And I don't think we'll have any problems as far as the combine harvester being too full between now and when we get back. And even if it is, we're close enough to the end of the episode, I'll just... Everything can... You know what I mean? If it does stop, it stops. I'll just sort it out off camera. But I'm more worried about this thing in traffic or uh, getting bound up somehow at the train cell. And I, I can't say it enough. What a good looking map. What a what a realistic map. Just the scale of it and the layout. Bullet Bill, you are a genius, my man. Kudos. I like this tipper. It's a shame we don't need it. So we've got the other one. Right. Uh-huh. Oh, game. Oh, game. Here you go. You got it. You got it. Got it. Christ. Okay, course play. You win this round. And the last round. And the round after that. And the round after that. This canola on the on the floor here from one of my tests. I just haven't brought a hoop over to fix it. Right, thirty-seven thousand. See how we do. Forty grand. Mm. Not what I was hoping for. Certainly not going to get two hundred thousand out of that field. But forty thousand is forty thousand. Okay. We could use the money. So, so it goes. I believe everything that we'll make from canola today will just about cover the rental for this equipment. Exactly what I was thinking of. Oh uh, yeah, I was going to. I was going to return this thing, this tipper. I was going to take it back to the implement store right now before we pay any more rent on it, but then we'd have to teleport back because I don't think we could be back at that point before the combine harvester needs empty. 60 miles an hour, probably a little fast for a, a farm track. Where be our combine? Ah, it's doing something in the back there. Okay. So, a little stuttery. I'm liking that. Right, so. That goes here. That goes here. I think we're just about to call it. It's empty one more time. Call it an episode. Oh no, here it comes. Now, next question is, who's going to make it?
we're going to make it to the end of this length. I th think it ought to be okay. But it'll be close to, maybe not full, but too full for another length. We'll dump it. We'll call it good. Seventy five percent. Eighty. Right, so we'll get rid of that. Get this auger. Which is it should? Yep. Okay, cool. Let's dump this. We'll call an episode. Fantastic. Folks, thanks for stopping back to check out the Portable Gamer. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Arm Simulator 2017. Yeah, a screenshot. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Farm Simulator 2017 from Lone Oak Farm. And we'll see you next time. Take care now.